Hello and welcome to another episode of Make Love Real. I'm Mia Sines, and in this episode, you get to meet Jamie Paisley. Now, as you all know, I don't read bios, but I am going to tell you a lot about this woman. I've known her for many years. I adore who and what she stands for. She's a therapist that has now become a coach with all her knowledge and her degrees and all that, supporting women and men, and men too, Jamie? Mostly women. I, I used to do more of both, but I'm like 95% women now. Yeah, beautiful. That's Jamie Paisley. So first I'll say hi before I finish. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hi, Mia. So good to see you. It's good to see you. And she's so she supports women, which is who you are. And it's really beautiful because she has a tenderness about her and a brilliance about her. And you can definitely see, even in the way she speaks to you, this love that comes through. And so the essence of self-love is what she shines through. So staying in love during chaos is one of the things that we're going to talk about. But Jamie, I'm so glad you're here. And will you share with the audience how you got to this place of, well, first it was therapy, which obviously was healing, but mm -hmm. how you got onto this journey. I want to hear also, because I never specifically asked you, what switched your flip, what made you switch from therapy into coaching with all that beautiful knowledge? Yeah, Mia, thank you so much. And thanks for the beautiful intro. That was so sweet. Um, and we have known each other like eight years now. Yes, yes. <laughs> Crazy. I think it's actually closer to almost 10. Oh my goodness. Because, yes, because of, um, because of our lunches that we, yeah. you know, Jamie and I would meet Jamie at. So yes. Yes. Okay. So um, my background, yes, I uh, started as a therapist. So when I was younger, I just knew that I wanted to help people. And then through school and what I was exposed to, I was like, oh, okay, if that's being a therapist, that's mm -hmm. learning psychology and helping people that way. So I went for my master's in counseling psychology in Los Angeles, where we met. And I loved all, everything that I learned. I did an emphasis on positive psychology. And so that was all amazing. And then you have to do 3,000 hours to become licensed. So I started working at community counseling centers and in private practice. And it was more of, since I was studying positive psychology, this was more of like the doom and gloom, like mm -hmm. how can we get you up to normal? And I think that's super important. And that's a lot of the healing going through and healing traumatic experiences, but I was missing something and I didn't really know how I could transition or what that would be. And so I was like, okay, maybe I'll do therapy part-time. Maybe I'll find something at a nonprofit where I feel like I can be giving back and impacting lives positively. And then I started to explore coaching. It's when I went abroad to Vietnam to teach English. That. Yeah, and people started introducing me to coaching. And so I, I knew I needed to make a switch. I didn't know what that switch was gonna be, and, but I was open. And then it was brought to my attention like, well, why don't you connect with these coaches I knew? And it's so interesting, when I came back from Vietnam, you were like, I knew you were gonna be a coach. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amazing. So I, really, I, I was that. just open. Mm -hmm. And you were seeking something different because you wanted to give in a different way. Yes. That's what I love when, um, you know, that's the only aspect about therapy that I believe actually works. You're trained in that fashion, and then you come into a different side of it. In that other side of the knowledge that you have is where people can radically transform. Yeah. That's how my life changed years ago. My therapist was also a spiritual person and we went on a journey together. And what I kept seeing was my own greatness. And so that's why I love what you do because you're licensed in one and yet you bring it into the other to meet people in areas that they couldn't be met on the traditional therapy side. So thank you for doing that. Very powerful. Absolutely, yeah. It's this life changing of, um, you know, staying in love and shifting out of chaos is so vital for us because especially right now, mm -hmm. this is the place in which we have to stand strong in our power. You want to talk about that a little bit? 
Yeah, I think that, you know, there's so much uncertainty going on right now. And quite frankly, so much pain. If you are, if your health is affected by this, if a loved one's health is affected by this, maybe you lost a job, maybe you don't know how you're going to pay your bills this month or next month. And so that is why staying connected to this self-love is so important, more important than ever. And it's tricky, right? Because it's more easily derailed than ever mm -hmm. in the chaos. It's easy to set that stuff to the side and be like, I need to be practical right now. I need to make a plan. I need to figure this out. But if you're just pushing from that energy, it's completely different than doing it with self-love. And also with protecting yourself, it's like we can do the practical things. We can wash the hands, we can sanitize, we can stay in our homes, but there's different energies and intentions we can do that with. So we can do it with fear of like being scared of what's out there and what can happen to us if we don't do this, or we can do it in the energy of love of saying, I'm doing this to protect myself, to keep myself safe. I'm doing this for the good of myself, my family, and all of those around me. Mm -hmm. And it's completely different, right? It is. It's absolutely different. Yeah. And so the self-connection and listening to your inner voice that you talk about, mm -hmm. let's talk about how people can recognize that inner voice that they're not tapped into. We have this greatness about us. And a lot of people are not tapped into that. Now, fortunately, most of the people watching this series will be because Fortunate. they're spiritually aligned, but they struggle. So share some of your um, insight on that, please. Yeah, I would say that most of my clients come to me because they want to make a change in their life, but they don't really know what that is. They just know that they're not fulfilled, that something needs to change. They need something different. They don't know what it is. So typically they go to friends or family or look on social media and ask or look to see what other people are doing. And really we can just like cut to the chase and connect to ourselves and really figure that out because it's going to be different for each and every one of us, right? Yes. And so that's why those practices that ground you in connecting to yourself, like, you know, you could do it through meditation, grounding, your walks, whatever that looks like, journaling, purposeful journaling, whatever that looks like to connect deeper to yourself, and also just being still and listening. We can get so wrapped up in the day-to-day, -day, everything that's going on. And so this time is really interesting, right? Because we're kind of forced to be still. I love it. I, you're talking my talk, sister. <laughs> You know, it's interesting because a lot of, and this is a slightly off topic, but I know beneficial. A lot of women are wanting to create their own tribes, their own friends that are powerful and spiritual, just like what we're talking about. Yes. And they're afraid that they can't connect. And I just want you out there to know, literally, when you open and you do this work and you raise your vibration, guess what's going to happen? You're going to bring in amazingly beautiful people. Most of the people that I've introduced you to over the last many, many years are colleagues that have become friends even. So how can that happen? Why? Because we don't expect anything except for greatness for ourselves. So know that you can shift into having these beautiful people in your life and you're worth it. Do you That's want to add on anything message. to that? Thank you. Do you want to add on anything to that? Um, I think that that message just stands really strong once you start doing the work and once you start loving yourself more you're only up for that vibration right like you're not going to accept anything else than that and your eyes are more open to where you can find it and how you can connect with people and this might actually be an interesting time to dip into that because we're all sitting at home and like, it might feel a little bit safer to do it digitally. Mm -hmm. It might feel a little bit safer to, you know, see who's watching this show and who commented and connect with them because you know that they're interested in the same things that you are or attend an online summit and connect with those people who also attended. It might feel just like, I don't have to like 
fully put myself out there and I can test this and see how it's working for me. And then it allows those great people in there that I can connect with. And it'll allow you to go out into the world and do that more for all of time. I love that. And absolutely. Now the way, um, and thank you for bringing this up because I never talk about this. So the way you can connect with people and space for this summit is through the Make Love Real For You Facebook group. Mm-hmm. That's where each of us are going in as the, the speakers and supporting you and talking and bringing up conversations. So it is a fabulous place to be yeah. to, to feel safe, right? Totally. I think that's so amazing. I actually didn't even know that's part of it, but that is like the way to connect with people. Yeah. And to connect with us too and bring your, what's going on for you into the group and see who connects with that. That's wonderful. I giggled because um, there's a couple of things that, <laughs> that Jamie got that I missed sending her. <laughs> She's like, where's this Mia? And I'm like, oops. <laughs> and of course it has, yes. to, it has to be to Jamie because she's so loving and accepting and, and sweet about it. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I will, I will connect you up to that because people are going to want to be able to say hi and all that. So you talk about something that I um, think is fabulous. And I love the wording, a life, you, you're creating a life that you're obsessed with. I love yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we only get one life, right? I mean, one life in this body, whatever you believe. And it's only for a certain amount of time. And we don't know how long that is. Like, why not be obsessed with it? Yeah. And let it light you up and be excited and joyful. And, you know, both sides of it, you know, feel all the feelings on both sides of it. But that is a life that you can be obsessed with and letting those people in your life that you can be obsessed with too. Mm -hmm. I love that. Connecting to the ones that you love unconditionally, beautifully, and literally connecting with them. You know, just not the, the way in which humanity talks, but feeling into who they are, honoring who they are, because that all honors you when it's done in an honoring place. Completely. Yeah. And I think, I think that is beautiful. I think that's something that we're stepping back into more. Um, And that obviously the people who are going to be attracted to this type of show are interested in. And it, in that, I think relationships are the most important thing. Your relationship to yourself and your relationship to those around you that you love So when you can really listen and you can connect on that deeper level, like that is creating a life that you're obsessed with. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Humanity was always tribal and connective. Mm -hmm. And we've lost that over, you know, especially the last 150 years since the industrial revolution came into play. And Mm -hmm. so we can create something that, again, like chaos, you know, how it pulls us apart. We can create that for ourselves, and it's our divine right to literally have that in our experience. Absolutely. I, like I love that. Yeah, we that. can, and I think that um, through the time where we've become a little bit more disconnected, we see how much we crave it. Yeah. And I actually think that this chaotic period in particular is showing that even more, you know, eat when you're locked in your house and you're realizing even if you weren't in touch with that prior and you're realizing that you don't get to connect with the people you love in the same way that you were able to before. I've seen a lot of memes like, I promise if you invite me out, I won't say no, I'll come. I won't take it for granted. I'll come every time. And it's, you know, really waking us up to how much we do appreciate that. Mm-hmm. That's really beautiful. I I really like that. And it's all about, you know, it's a transformational aspect, which actually, and a choice, which actually brings us into the next topic I want to talk with Jamie about, and that's mindset. Because it's our mindset that allows us to stop the monkey mind talk that, that has stopped us from moving forward. So share with us about mindset and about self love and the power in which it can literally shift who we are. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
once you realize how powerful mindset is, it's life changing, right? So the way that I grew up was just thinking that things happened to me. Um, my life was a product of my circumstances. Mm -hmm. And it took a lot of work and development to realize, no, those are just circumstances. And I have so much choice behind that. And where does the choice come from? Your mindset and how you choose to view it and react to it. So mindset is powerful because it gives you power. I mean, it gives you power to show up exactly how you want in any situation. It gives you the power to choose self-love. Mm -hmm. If you didn't harness that mindset, being in that frequency of self-love, you wouldn't be able to experience it because it's a choice. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you can develop. It's not just something that you're born with, which is great news, right? Like we all have the ability to work on it and develop it. and a like I mentioned earlier, right now, I think mindset is so important because there's so much unknown, so much uncertainty, because our regular day-to-day -day is in disrupt for most of us. We were saying, Mia, that ours really isn't. We've been working from home and everything is like pretty normal on the day-to-day -day helping clients, but for a lot of people, it's completely disrupt mm -hmm. and so in that you need to harness the power that you have with your mind and decide how you want to show up mm -hmm. and I have been saying a lot lately in this space that five years from now think about when you look back at this period of time how will you be proud of how you showed up mm -hmm. will you be proud of it? and if so how does that look and start showing up in that manner it's really asking the questions, like you said, without the questions of how or what do you want, we don't know what we want. We don't know what we don't know until we know it. And so taking that for many, it's a journey into the unknown. And it may seem frightening and scary to how far you want to go, but it's really not. The only reason you're afraid is because it is the unknown. And so as you start to explore into the unknown, you realize there's magic there. There's yeah, magic and isn't there. it interesting? It it's, feels like the unknown, but the more you ask, then the more you know, yeah. right? And the more glorious it all is. Yes, the richer it all is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the one thing that if I could bottle it and gift it away or even sell it, you know, I think that that's the most important thing. That mindset of knowing that you can shift and change and then you shift and change and you're not afraid to move forward because you know that you've done it once, it works, it just becomes a practice. 100%, yeah, a lot of people are scared or have more doubt because they haven't done it in the past and it doesn't, our past does not predict our future. We don't need to be afraid of that. You are totally capable. You can do it. You might need some help, some assistance, a coach, some resources. That's great. It's available to you, you know, but you can do it. Yes. And, and what Jamie said about, and it's true about most humans, statistically, and I know I've seen over the last, you know, 10, 11 years with people, that you really, people do need support with their mindset, with coaching. And if you've never had coaching before and you do a lot of um, webinar or you do a lot of seminars and workshops, that's really good. But when it, take the time to investigate what it's like, even if it's just one session, to work with any coach, literally, and see how that betters you as an individual, because this is your development and your space out of the chaotic feeling that we have right now. Yeah. Want to talk more about that, Jamie, because that's part of the staying out of chaos, right? Is, is literally staying out of chaos and people, a mindset is fabulous for that and it helps us, but we also need to look at it and realize that our growth and our moving forward is just that it's one step at a time. Yeah. And I think that mindset work is really powerful and do it on a daily basis. So I really believe in it. 
I will say that the things, and I get coaching, I've, I guess I've had a coach since 2015, so five years since I learned about coaching. Yeah. I got a coach, and I will say the thing is, is we can't always see what's going on in our mind. We get tripped up, mm-hmm. even with the work. Even when I'm doing mindset work, I get tripped up sometimes. And so somebody else is like the outside observer, don't have any judgments, and they're able to see and guide me to a curiosity, to a different light, to a different realization. It's and it blows my mind. <laughs> you know, it for two coaches to tell you that they use coaches, I use a coach too. I have a business coach and then I also use another coach when I feel I need it. And the power of that, right? The power of that takes you to the moon, literally. It's like the gas in your rocket ship. Yes, exactly. It's like, yeah, gas in the rocket ship, gasoline on the fire. Like you have it within you, you know, you're working on it, you're doing the things, but sometimes you need the outside perspective. You need the observer that you can't possibly be. Mm -hmm. I love that. And again, you don't know what you don't know until you know it. <laughs> I know, right? It's so interesting to look back when I was younger and I was, you know, trying to figure everything out, like what I would do. Actually, I will say that most of my clients are in their early 30s and they're like, if I just had you when I was in my early 20s, <laughs> that would have been a game changer. But you were meant to go through that, right? You don't know yeah. until you know. Yeah. And that game changer is what is also the rocket fire fuel that that makes us project forward. Because if we didn't have those shadows in that space, how are we to know where the light is, right? And how to get there and what it feels like. Completely. Yeah, it just makes life richer, fuller, like a grander experience, full spectrum experience. It's beautiful. And you've been amazing and time flies. Um, You have a gift for the audience. Would you like to share it? Yeah. Um, So my gift is a four module course. It's called Goal Setting Accelerator. So it's to, and we focus on one goal. This is actually self-paced, but with the gift, you also get a one-on-one session with me where we can deep dive and go through anything that's coming up for you in your way. But this course itself is four modules, self-paced, has the blueprint, everything that you need to get to where you're going. And that includes the mindset pieces. It includes habits, strategy, productivity, all of it. So awesome. Really? Yes. That's unbelievable. Yeah. I'm happy to, I'm happy to contribute it. Thank you so much. Now, before we let you go, what you've shared a lot, but do you have something on your mind or your heart that you'd like to share with the audience? Um, One last thing. Yeah, I would say just to keep it timely to what's going on right now is to allow yourself to be that human and have that full experience. You're going to have days that feel really good, days that don't feel good. And just having some grace and acceptance for yourself and knowing that when you're ready, you can come to the table and harness your mindset in a positive way that serves you. I love that grace and acceptance. Yeah. Grace and acceptance. It's beautiful. Thank you, Jamie, for joining us. It was really a pleasure. And it was long time in the making here for us to get together on this but really beautiful thank you so much thank you for having me here mia it's been so great it's awesome and thank you all for joining us for another episode of make love real we'll see you in the next bye